it looks like one of the Mario brothers would live here. How do you pronounce it? I'm gonna be so full. <laughs> Let's go to another country. Woo. Good morning, guys. We are up early this morning. And it's our last day in Austria, but our first day in a new country. We're jumping on a train this morning and headed to Bratislava, Slovakia. <laughs> So Bratislava and Vienna are super close together, which makes Bratislava a really easy day trip from Vienna. And you have three ways to get there. You can take a bus, a ferry, or a train, which is what we're doing right now. Just got into Bratislava. It was an easy train ride. We have quite a few stops planned for the day. First one, Bratislava Castle. So we made it to Bratislava Castle. We wanted to start our morning here because we wanted great views of the city and of the Danube, and we got here early enough and no one's really here. That was great. Next up, we're gonna hit the old town. It's empty. So I don't know if it's because we're here early or because it's a weekday, but it is like deserted. Empty. Down here. It's so cute and empty and so cute. <laughs> 
It is adorable. Yeah. We were a little chilly, so we stopped in to get some coffee at Manju Laboratory, and I think they specialize in chocolate. Look how chocolatey this cappuccino is. So if you've watched our channel before, you know it wouldn't be a way together with Nick and Allie without a food stop. And since we're in a brand new country, we had to go to a more traditional place and try some of the traditional Slovakian dishes. We are at Slovak Pub. So first things first, uh, Slovakia has their own cola beverage called Kofola. I believe that's how you pronounce it. How do you pronounce it? Anyway, here we go. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, it's a, a cola beverage, I guess. It's not as carbonated. It's got a, a little bit of like a herbal citrusy kind of note, I guess you could say. It's good. Better than Kokta in Croatia? I do prefer this over Kokta. And we got it on draft, which is apparently the way you're supposed to get it. So according to our research, it wouldn't be a traditional Slovakian meal unless we started with soup. So we got the traditional cabbage soup and it looks very similar to what we had in um, Ljubljana, but it has some sausage in there and some sour cream, and it smells delicious. Mm. It's not nearly as sour as the cabbage soups we've had, and the sausage adds like a really nice smokiness. This is delicious. Oh my gosh, this is really good. This is a meal to me, just this whole thing, but apparently, a lot of Slovakians have this as their first course. Mm. All right, our food's here. And we got plenty. <laughs> uh, so this is a pierogi filled with pork, sour cream, and fried onions. We also got a traditional potato dumpling with sheep cheese and speck. That looks really good. This does look really good. And then yours. I got the lumberjack schnitzel, which is basically a schnitzel with speck and eggs on top of it. I think we got plenty of food. I'm gonna try this. Give it a shot. Sheep's cheese is real strong. <laughs> I mean, it's delicious, but it's it's like real rich. Oh, I love that. It's real rich. That is good, and the uh, the speck is like a little like, like crackling. Mm -hmm. It was very salty. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Okay. Let's try their version of a pierogi. It's not like a Polish pierogi. Hmm. I mean, it has the same components, uh -huh. but just assembled differently. Does that have sheep's cheese in it as well? Mm -mm. It's good, it's very interesting because it is the exact same components but just kind of rearranged in a different way. All right, and I got this schnitzel. This is a hearty meal that we're about to tear through. I'm gonna be so full. <laughs> <laughs> it's all so like thick 
and hearty. I'm gonna be in like a food coma. I'm glad we didn't get like a really creamy, rich soup. I don't know how specifically, now that I've got this meal, Slovakians and like Polish people do all the potato and the like creamy sour cream and the yeah dumpling. I would be asleep all the time. I mean, it's delicious. I'd be very happy all the time. But asleep. <laughs> this stuff is crack. <sighs> Absolutely stuffed. We could not finish. Well, we finished that. Yes, we, we ate the meat. We couldn't finish all the uh, potato-based carby stuff. We need a nap, but the show must go on. Check out this blue church. What do you think? It looks like one of the Mario brothers would live here. <laughs> or like, it's like the castle you overtake on a Mario level. Totally. So blue. It's like made of ice cream. So there's this really iconic bridge here. Right there. So the bridge has this tower and observation deck on it called the UFO. Uh, we really wanted to climb it. We've heard there's also a bar up there where you can like have a drink and get panoramic views of the city, but it's closed today. Bratislava is an absolutely adorable city. Yes, and it was the perfect day trip from Vienna. I wish we had more time to explore Slovakia, but today is actually our last day in Europe. And if you want to figure out where we're headed to next, make sure to like and subscribe to follow along.